that is the nature of politics politics is such that sometimes you will never have permanent friends and you will never have permanent enemies and therefore the relationship is extremely fluid but coming back to the question what may have happened two things one immediately after the elections even if you have a running mate who supports you fully immediately one gets elected the first thing that the deputy has to do is to step back step back and actually read the tempo of the leader the movement of the leader the direction of the leader the moment the leader realizes that my deputy is taking a different direction that begins the downfall of uh, that deputy so there is a sense in which at the beginning the deputy president may not have read the signs very well because the ultimate power and the ultimate authority lay in the president and therefore there was nothing like co-presidency at that moment and at the beginning of uh, the the jubilee you know uh, leadership or reign for that matter there was a sense in which it all looked like a co-presidency and that never happens and i think that is where uh, the deputy president may have not read the signs very well the second hypothesis that may as well be true is that the moment you are the deputy you do not have to collapse around yourself or have a clique of people around yourself who are throwing bubs and shouting at your boss the moment that that happens then the perception of the leader and the perception of those people around him is that you have sent these people to abuse the president and even if they are out of sync completely even if they don't want to listen to you immediately they make such statements issue a statement dissociating yourself from the utterances of those around you what we have seen in recent past is that those who collapse around the deputy president have been very disrespectful and occasionally they have said very nasty things about the president and at that juncture the deputy president needed to actually rebuke them and in public because perceptions matter the moment the leader re- realizes that you have a team and the team around you, it may just be perception and the team doesn't have any respect for for him he quickly realizes that you have now evolved into somebody who is opposed to his direction number 3 which is also very important you must take instructions from your leader and you must realize when he is uncomfortable with your statements and with your actions the moment he seems to realize that you are not taking instructions and that you are doing certain things contrary to the direction he wants to take the country that is the beginning of a, of, of a serious rift so there is a sense in which uh, the deputy president may have actually misread certain signs and the misreading was basically perhaps because of just mere enthusiasm for no good reason 
But again, the reading of history would have helped here. The reading of history would have helped because those who manage to succeed their boss have certain basic characteristics. The first thing, loyalty, 100%. And so when the boss realizes that there is a problem with loyalty, then you are actually missing that boat. The second thing, never allow those around you to actually seem to suggest that they are powerful and they can push you or propel you to leadership, even without the blessing of the boss, who is actually His Excellency. And that becomes a big problem and that marks the beginning of the downfall. I don't know whether you want anything else. Which options do Deputy President have at, at the moment? I said it the other day that it is never, never, it is never cowardly to retreat, reflect, rethink, and re-strategize. It is never weakness. The, at the moment, I think the deputy president needs to retreat, rethink, re-strategize. Apart from that, get good advisors. I think those around him may not be very good advisors because there are certain things that they have said, there are certain utterances that um, have been said that really makes uh, the, 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 the president really uncomfortable. And yet these are the people around the deputy president. I think it is high time that he got people who will make their point without necessarily appearing to abuse His Excellency. Remember, the presidency is the symbol of unity. Even if you don't like the person occupying that position, you must show some respect and dignity to that office. The moment that is missing, then actually uh, all forces can come down on you. Yeah. Do you think the two can be reconciled and who can do that? Uh, this is like uh, a marriage that has come to an end. There's no turning back. I think uh, at this particular juncture, talking about reconciliation and so on, really does not arise. Uh, here is a case where the parting has only to be made smooth, basically.